What's up, this is LifeX and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a catchy and dynamic professional looking thumbnail for your YouTube channel for your YouTube video. Okay, so let's get started. So before we go into this video, I'm gonna show you why you need to create a thumbnail. So let's go ahead and look on here. So you need to make a you know catchy and good thumbnail because it will drive a good traffic. So if you guys want a new subscriber for your YouTube channel, then you guys could use the thumbnail, okay? Or if you guys are uploading just without a thumbnail, then you guys are doing wrong, okay? You must upload a thumbnail anyhow, okay? You need to upload a thumbnail, okay, and get a um, good insane traffic for your YouTube channel. So if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel right now and ring that bell okay do shit that on for you so let's go ahead and continue to the project of the photoshop so once you have opened the photoshop or if you guys don't have photoshop you guys could go ahead and download it out from anywhere shared on the internet out of the world okay so if you guys have no photoshop let me know in the comment down below as well so First thing is that you want to open a Photoshop and just create a new file project, okay? And we want to work on a layer as well. So you need to open a Photoshop. So click on File and click on New to create a project. And under Name, you want to give a name as a Tom. So now the width will be as the uh, 1280 and height will be as the 720 as the uh, YouTube recommend as you know to get the thumbnail good thumbnail uh, you need to use this resolution so and your background content it should be on a white so because we want to work on a white because um, transparent it will make you tedious to work on your project so once you have select these all then just go ahead and click on OK and that should bring you the white background and as you guys can see here it's a background you want to double click and unlock your background just double click and press on OK and that should be on layer 0 and it should be unlocked so now as you guys can see you guys can even use a graduation but I don't recommend you guys to use a graduation because graduation um, it won't be looking really cool or even don't use the color because we are gonna be using the texture background right now so to to get a uh, free texture background just go to Google Chrome and open uh, the website called Pixabay from here and from this website you guys can use a texture background okay because this website is free and completely free for you know high quality images as you guys can see over here so just search for texture background as you guys can see it also recommend you guys to use the texture background so you guys can uh, use any of the photo that you really want to use on a thumbnail so for this video I'm just gonna be using uh, okay so I'm just gonna be using this one over from here and you want to uh, download from here okay just click on free download or if you guys are not logging then it will ask you to fill the captcha so if you guys don't want to get a captcha you know mind hurting captcha then just fill up sign up to their uh, website and then get the you know rig of the captcha and just get a go ahead and download and that's to download you or from here now uh, so if you guys are using you know Google then I just don't recommend you guys to use a Google and search direct from there because it might get a copyright so let me show you how you will get a copyright so if you go to Google and search the image like a texture background it will give you um, you know images more than this um, good looking than this okay but you guys can't use all of these wallpapers over from here because these are copyright and this owner may get you on a you know problem you might get a strike anytime because uh, if you go to the tools and if you see on the users right it is not filtered by license as you guys can see that so to use on Google you need to use uh, you need to check over these web, uh, these options okay it's for uh, label it for you reuse or label it for label it for non-commercial reuse so I basically use for this one so if you guys could use or from here as you guys can even see it's also coming from the Pixar Bay so I just recommend you guys to go ahead and fill up Pixar Bay today and get the awesome wallpapers for free you know if you guys don't want to copyright go to Pixar if you guys want to copyright anytime you guys could use a Google search so that's all so this is not a you know YouTube class so let's go ahead and uh, open on a project open on a project your wallpaper so just go ahead and click in the file and click in open 
and now you want to open uh, your your downloaded um, images so this is the downloaded images and open it up so once you imported this on um, it will be open it on next tab so to open this on uh, another tab you want to uh, press is control and hold alt and then you want to drag and drop on this okay so just like that and you want to uh, you know transform as well so if you guys want to transform this photo just um, press and control plus T to transform as you guys can see uh, you guys get corner boxes over from here just you guys can increase this out okay so it's that simple guys so you guys could do anything that you really want to love to do so um, let me increase this okay so once you are done then press and enter and that should um, set the fit for you so now the next thing is that you want to create a next layer from here click on uh, you know click on new layer tab and you will get a layer 2 and on the layer 2 you want to use the text so you can um, use a text uh, like you know whatever your video is about so today this video is about the how to make a thumbnail so I'm just using the make a thumbnail make um, you know awesome so uh, if you guys get a big form then you guys can um, you know you guys can just select this and you guys can just um, decrease the font size just like that or from here okay so to increase the font you guys can um, but I don't recommend you guys to increase the font from here because it will make you really tedious to increase the font so you guys can just use the um, this one over here it's a resize tool just uh, press on control T and then you guys can drag it and drop it so even okay you guys can drag it and drop it okay so uh, you guys can do anything so just press on shift and drag it and drop that is as easy so or if you guys are not familiar or if you guys don't like this font then you guys can uh, choose the text again and select this font just like that and change the font from here any font you guys really love to use but I'll be using in this tutorial as an impact but if you guys want another font you guys can go to Google Chrome and go to this website called that font and you guys can download amazing font from here okay you guys could see that there are really really awesome font for to get the thumbnails so one of my favorite is American Captain so you guys could download this out okay so just go ahead and click and download and you guys can download this out so that's all and if you guys open this out then you guys can just open this text and just install this and just click on yes if you have already installed so um, just close it out okay so now go back to your Photoshop and then use the American captain from here just type an American captain as a regular so there we go we get an American captain form it's really easy to do right so um, you know this is a make it awesome thumbnail so if you guys don't want this uh, as a yellow or if you guys have a white color then you guys can change it through you know any other color like let's say I will make this as a white or from here just choose the white then it will be white just press an ok then boom it will be changed to white color so if you want you know like you make as the um, red one or <laughs> okay it's not looking cool as a green one and uh, thumbnail thumbnail whoops shit guys so it's is this is a thumbnail so so make sure you have spelled a word if you have any mistake on your thumbnail so as I'm a dumb so as you guys can see I just made the mistake over here so you guys can change your font color from here as well so I'll just be using um, white for this okay so I'm pressing ok if you guys are done and uh, once you are once you done that then you guys can um, you know click and move tool or anything tool and then you want to blend this um, text as well right click and blend this out and you want to use a B label as a 3d if you guys want a 3d then you guys can use it or if you guys don't want then just uncheck it or if you guys uh, really want to give a stroke then you guys can also give a stroke or from here oops okay so just go to strokes and you guys can see that it's using like a crazy hex size 
you guys can change the stroke color on to the um, bluest as you guys can see I just use the blue and press on OK you guys can increase the size up to 3 okay not more than that so I'll be using the size on the 2 pixel and then you want to go ahead and give a drop shadow as well it will look really you know crap so just increase and decrease the size play with this size spread and distance so as you guys can see the font will look as you guys can see the font will start looking popping up on your eyes so that's how you can make an awesome font so it's that easy guys so so it's that easy and uh, you guys can even um, decrease the opacity if you guys really don't want a little bit you guys can use uh, you know like that so just press on ok once you are happy with your font and just click on ok so as you guys can see you create the uh, font but uh, you want to increase this font it's uh, really small so try to make a font really big okay just like that or just you know drag it and drop it just drag it and drop it like that or even you guys can use the, your arrow key on a keyboard just you know to move it up and down it's that simple and not only that you also want to have a um, you know cartoony picture so I just recommend go to Google Chrome and just go ahead and image source like I use the awesome you know so you guys can also use the awesome PNG and you guys can download anything uh, from here but uh, for the PNG you guys can use you know without filtered license okay because you know everybody use this so no one care them for the PNG so you guys can use any kind of you know PNG as the um, images for your um, you know thumbnail so it is not a very great deal and great problem for you guys so now go ahead and uh, open your PNG once you are downloaded so I just downloaded the PNG one over here just right uh, just click on here and open it up and do the same thing as we done for this picture so to do that so just press and hold control and alt drag it and drop it over your project and as you guys can see your image is really big or if you guys have small image press and control T to transform and hold on shift and drag it okay just like that so that you could not lose any you know quality so and press on OK once you are done so um, if you want the same effect for, from your text to your to your um, PNG image then you guys can simply do it uh, right click and then you want to copy their styles and and select your PNG and right click and you want to just paste your layer style and there we go so if you guys want to edit then you guys can go ahead and edit that as, as well so just uh, I don't want to stroke so just uncheck the stroke and press on OK so that's how you can make a great and good thumbnail for your YouTube video so once you are done with this thumbnail then I just recommend you guys to save this as a PSD not a PNG so I just recommend you guys to save on a PSD first okay because you want to use it later as a template for your thumbnail okay so that you can easily edit this you know easily edit this um, you know this kind of thing uh, you guys can easily edit your keyword or anything so I just recommend you to save this first on PSD so to save on the PSD you want to click on the file first and you want to go to save as and then you want to save this on the PSD over from here okay just click on PSD and you want to select your folder so I will be selecting on the download okay for this tutorial so I'll be saving as a Tom so you guys can click and save and press on OK now your project has been saved on Tom okay so and if you guys want to save this image then you want to click in file and go again on save as and you want to now give a PNG or JPEG okay so I just recommend you guys to use the PNG as a high quality image so if you guys use the PNG you will get a high quality and if you guys use the JPEG then it will uh, give you a little bit of lost on your uh, quality okay so I just recommend you guys to use the PNG and you want to save this out and press on OK and that should save your you know entire image on and that should save your image from inter on the your your downloads okay so as you guys can see your thumbnail will be ready like this 
So if you guys think this video really helped you out, then let me know in a comment down below what should be in the next video as well. So, you know, thanks for watching this video and hope you learned something on this video. So I'll be catching a next video session. Till now, subscribe and ring that bell. So peace out, guys.